Ayo, Tritus, Teddy Radko, what's up guys? What up? Welcome back, Starland, Super Bowl Sunday. Oh wow, Zeppelin right there. <clears throat> How we all doing? Um, so, last stream, last couple streams, I was working on, <clears throat> excuse me, the airport over here. Uh, basically did all of this last stream because I had to redo the entire thing because of a glitch. It was this fun, uh, barracks or whatever it's called. It could be, could be cooler, could be better than it is. It's kind of bare bones. Got this rail line, needs some attention. And a lot of this stuff needs attention, especially in the back over here. Anything catch anyone's eye? Should I work on first? Did this fun thing. I don't know how I feel about the uh, dirt roads going between it. it feels like it kind of makes it. Uh, a little more formal than it should be. It should just be a parking lot. But, uh, these things are weird how I have them, like, just randomly in pairs. I feel like I should be a little bit more, uh, what's the word? Thoughtful with where they're placed. Got a big traffic jam of, uh, airplanes waiting to get into, uh, cargo stand. I've been noticing this annoying thing. Seven Fracas, what up? How you doing? I've been noticing this annoying thing where two active flights, 93 active flights. Like if you look through all of them, why is one why does one of them have 93? That one has 34, I guess that's kind of close, but 73. Uh, it's a little bit more even than it was last night. Last night it was like 170 for one of them and then like 10 for all the rest of them. Apologies uh, if you can hear the airplanes in the background. I live um, very close to like uh, one of those tiny like hobby airports. And it's Super Bowl Sunday, so everyone wants to fly their plane. Everyone wants a good look at the stadium. I don't even want this plane to spawn, but it was clipping with those. Um, alrighty. Why don't I work on a little bit of uh, rail stuff over here. It seems fun. We'll do a couple parallel parallel roads, parallel train tracks. Uh, hit tab to switch the sides. And minus to get them closer. That. And do another one. Maybe we'll do like that. I'm kind of encroaching on this uh, on this road here. Maybe I'll do the other side. Man, I love the network tool, I gotta say. It's so good. Get rid of these ones. Get rid of that. Have these kind of just curve over and connect. that, like that, 
Might have to use the uh, nodeless right there. That's better. And like that. Also with the nodeless. This is kind of sticking out a little bit. some sort of uh, train station cargo one I think potentially right here passenger one so let's take a look at which ones we got cargo terminus we want the GRWO track. Line it up there. Can actually probably take all these nodes, move them all the way back. segments delete delete this one too and then we want to use the regular two-way not the nodeless definitely do not want to be attaching the nodeless to a station the height of this is a little high so I'm gonna hold alt to get access to that uh, node that's part of the station Hopefully, we'll start seeing some uh, cargo trains come. Let's see. There is the uh, new airport train station, but I kind of feel like potentially it's a little too big and unwieldy to be using here it's a little like has like a whole crane attached to it and stuff should be a ton of warehouses these ones the container ones and they should all be set to commercial goods. Actually, I'm going to set a couple to uh, what the unique factory there needs. Metal, plastic, and glass. Plastic. Glass. And then back to doing oh, now we're auto-saving commercial goods. How's everyone doing today? Anything fun? Anyone making anything cool? City Skylines? Ah oh, man, the autosave.
I guess this road should really just connect to that road. for the bolt tonight am I rooting for anyone um, I am not I uh, I'm not I don't really care my team the 49ers not really my team anymore but when I cared they were my team got eliminated last time around so don't really care feel like it's weird that they're at a uh, 90 degree whoa 90 degrees from where uh, they would be unloaded from the train I don't know why I feel like that's weird but like I feel like they should be this direction Someone's revving an engine outside my window real loud. a bit. Potentially some sort of building right here. Like uh, this building again? Maybe? how this building comes with decals. Not a fan. <laughs> Lee Yong, what up? How's it going? Forefather, what makes you say that? maybe maybe this building something like that I feel like we do need some sort of crane uh, not crane well maybe crane but there's a, there's another like shed thing that's kind of cool that works well for going over Ooh, train stations
Is this one animated? That'd be fun. Oh, it is. Look at that. Love to see that. Let's put this to commercial goods. We'll see any trains come. I don't know what I'm going to do with that little building. I think mainly just like a lot of warehouses over here. Some of the um, just these ones. Love these warehouses. We'll do commercial goods. Maybe petroleum, since I do have so much petroleum in the city. And commercial goods. You know, speaking of petroleum, I wonder if there's another unique factory that can go down. I think all the ones I um, all the ones I've already used. Where do I use an industrial steel plant? Use that somewhere? Yeah, Leon, I said, I said, what up? What makes you call me a forefather? That's a weird thing to say. Why you say that? guys can all get set to commercial goods. Oh, it's Nardo. What up? Had no idea. How you doing? Wow. Long time no see. Yes, well, now that you say that you're Nardo, I can understand why you might have said that. It's all about consistent naming. I'm just kidding. It's not all about that. You been making anything fun? Here comes a train. Look at that. It's fun. Uh, what I should do. Maybe not rail. Oh, yeah, rail. There's a ton in here. go crazy with this but just do a few the 
defense mode, is that what I want? Yeah, defense mode. can't change the name really. It's interesting. Um, you're in Italy eating Italian ham and cheese. Damn. That's the life. Uh, you want to know what this city's about? Let's take a look around real quick. Why don't we? This is Starland. Pretty wacky city. Got a lot of mesas. We got this train line that goes through the mesa over here. I love this part where it really there's like a bridge in between them. It's fun. A lot of highways. What am I on pause or something? Yeah, I was on pause. This is downtown over here. Got this giant building. We got the giant train station. We got the Revo rail line in the sky, the Hyperion's gate or whatever. We got big rail yard, big old rail yard. We got my favorite spot in the city, the oil refinery. It's like the packing district down here. Hey, how did I get a helicopter to spawn? I shouldn't be having helicopters spawn. Where is this coming from? Owner. It's so strange that that building is spawning helicopters. I don't like that. I'm going to be popping blimps with that. Got a lot of blimps around. It's a big one, but then there's a bunch of little ones that fly around too. There's two clipping through each other. Looks like alternate reality where Native Americans industrialized. <laughs> That's funny. I'm thinking it's an alternate reality where um, uh, World War II never ended for like hundred hundreds of years. It's just been at war forever. So this is a very military industrial city. That's what this entire airport is. It's not a normal airport. It's a military manufacturing, airplane manufacturing airport. So this part's the military base with like barracks. I think I should add a little more to it. We got a parking area for planes. And then I'm thinking they build airplanes in here and in here. And I wanted to do some more of these big buildings. Maybe this one. Try this, thank you. I'm liking the way it's looking too. It's fun, like, as opposed to Mars, it's very fun uh, making a city that you can, like, zoom out real far, and it looks good from a distance. And it's, like, big. This is actually one of my favorite parts 
is this uh, river. It was real hard to get this looking the way that I wanted to. This river that runs around here. A lot of little tricks and things. A lot of these um, little McWelshman streams. They work really well for uh, like from a distance channeling the water like for for example like through here this was all dry before i put that down and it made a little nice path for it to go along like through there this is another favorite spot down here ah yes and there's even a train going by right now we can follow Tree provides a lot for that aesthetic, yes, definitely. The amount of times I search heaven a tree and find it was quite high. Really works well. A lot of that stuff. I do am I am using an absurd amount of assets though. I just had to make a second assets steam collection, so this save has a mods collection, a thousand asset long asset collection, and now a second one that's got like 20 or 30 more. Really a lot of assets. It like, uh, not that I can use the, all the new mods in uh, Mars, but I did load up Mars with the new mods to try and see how quickly how fast the load time was because that was like a big issue with Mars was that it took like an hour to load and uh, now with the prop anarchy and the poppable asphalt to fix mods Mars only takes like five or seven minutes to load and this city takes like 15 because of all the uh, all the assets been putting the Watson building into my collections. Which collection did I put it into? Do you remember? I think it, I, I think I just put it into the like modern buildings collection, right? It's just like a, one that I have saved. Like it's not uh, a project specific collection. We'll do like very small roundabout here or something. Freehand it. Is that weird? I feel like that's a little weird. Let's see if any trains even come here. This is a passenger one, right? Yeah. Actually, what I, what I should do is make my own line as opposed to hoping trains come. Turn off, allow inner city. And we'll do a line. From here. To there. Kind of painful the genres dying out 
You're still pumping out assets. Uh oh, this didn't connect. Is is it dying? Yeah, I mean, I'm not making, I'm not making sci-fi that kind of sci-fi stuff anymore. But I saw um, uh, Electro Tech or whatever, I forget his name. Just open back up uh, the cyberpunk save. Okay, why did that not let me connect over there? This is connected, right? Yeah, seems connected. Let's try that one more time. Rail. Well, first of all, like, where's the dot? Why is it not letting me make it on the track? It's gotta be in the station. It's kinda weird. It doesn't really feel like it's working. Hmm. Oh, I see. Because it's this line. I'm an idiot. It's not the one that's down there. Let's try this one more time from there. There we go. Add stop. Ah, uh, yes, there we are. Complete line. And let's uh, select types. I think I want the SAR 520 class. Out of vehicle. And there it is. Let me uh, move this down, as well as some of these trees. So that I can extend this back out. Okay, we can go like real far. Or even potentially curve with this. Parking lot for sure over here. do that. I really wish there was a way to connect uh, two roads to the end of this, like one over here and one over here. That would be nice. Do some parking spaces. Maybe uh, like this type of deal, the little grass things in the middle of this uh, roundabout, maybe. Like that. Grab a, a couple palm trees. some fences. We 
also need like a platform, don't we? Or something. At least like a little paved area. I thought I had like a platform network or something. Hmm. So we'll just go with this. We'll basically just do be from here to like there. Something like that. Actually, a couple of these things. I don't know what. A couple uh, light light posts or something. Traffic lights. Street lamps. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe just a couple more going down this way. Potentially, a path around the edge. Have 94, what up? How are you doing? Finally able to catch a stream? It's wonderful. Good to have you. Long and hard, hello. Like some sort of office at administration building here. Not that. Something smaller than that. Oh, this is this is a good building. Yeah, we'll go with this. This whole area is sort of styled off of um no, we're auto saving. Off of uh Edwards, I believe Edwards Air Force Base, I believe is what it's called. In Phoenix. We were looking at some Google Maps images of it last night. Come on, auto save. There we are. Now, how does two of these next to each other look? like in these planters. Maybe some more grass for this building, like uh, in the back? No. I 
think maybe like I will uh, pave this area back here fill it with a little parking Simon what up how you doing wow good to see ya am I excited for the new formula one season hopefully things will be shaken up a bit more competitive with the new regulations boy am I excited I've uh, been so desperate for Formula One content, I have to say. Uh, concrete brush. How are you doing, Simon? Can I can I show you a, a PO bug since you're here? It's been driving me driving me off the wall. Only if you won't get mad. like a driveway decal uh, okay I'll show you show you the bug um, all right so let's say I want to turn this into a PO this building to PO. Alright. So it disappears, right? The LOD disappears at a distance. Disappears right there. So let's say I wanted to make it disappear way further. Set render distance. I want to set it to 5,000. Every single time it opens up the zoning window and I can't finish typing no matter what I do. So I can't change the render distances of things because it always opens up the zoning window. Let's say like, for example, I'm gonna type 5,000 into another window. I can, I'm just on Google Chrome and copy the number. Set render distance, paste. I guess I can do it that way. So maybe that's the workaround. Because you gotta type it into another, type it into a different program and copy the number and paste it. So that actually does work, but when you're trying to type it in City Skyline to type out the number, it always goes to the zoning window. If I tried using the number pad, let's try it. Set render distance. 4,000. Now that seems to work as well, doesn't it? Well, there you have it. It's just the regular uh, keyboard numbers. Now that you're here, it's not. <laughs> we instantly found a workaround that I've been searching for weeks to find, but there you have it. We do maybe just a little bit of. surface painting I think this is a little too sandy in here This action is useful to set multiple render distances, but you can still set the render distance in the general tool for single objects. You're talking about groups? Groups render distance? Need 
turn that off so that the ground actually changes colors. When you paint, when you paint cactuses down. not happy with uh, these dirt roads where these airport where these airplanes are parked I feel like it's a little wacky I mean the whole thing is a little wacky but I wish there was like a more subtle way to have the roads like let's try just a couple things what if I if I no, that's not way less subtle. Hmm. Maybe slightly more sand. I guess that's a little more, it is a little bit more subtle with the sand. Oops. It's like trying to hit that perfect spot where it's just a little bit of sand, but it's not like a lot, completely white. an Air Force base like in um, California that's built on these like sandy salt flat things we were looking at last night as well Google Earth that I wish I had a little bit more space around these runways because there's like some crazy markings in the sand that are going on over there that I would love to do See, like, I'm not sold about having that much sand here, and now it looks weird that there's, like, a difference between over here and over here. I think, it, I, went, I, think I went crazy with the sand. one. Let's try painting it. See if that does anything. If I can get like a more blended color. Not really. Too light, too dark. That's actually pretty good from a distance, at least. Blends in a little bit better.
Got a few more like rows of parking back here. trucks lined up right there. I guess they're coming from the rail station. They must be. I do not want to be seeing those. Strange, the train got stuck on the wrong uh, side of the track. Maybe like some lights, like uh, like this kind of thing. Oop! Now we're auto saving. Give that a wait. Starland. Bizarre city. Should there be lights? Not sure. And then the power line. First of all, we gotta do a power line, probably just around the edge of all of this. At least to get to those buildings. But then, this is gonna be wacky, it's gonna be too wacky. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. We'll just assume there's a way to get power to those lights, I guess. I feel like maybe even more parking in this area 
or some sort of other airports air, airplane storage little airplane storage I'm, I'm kind of loving the uh, the dirt road airplane parking though. Just do more of it. some more in that direction. Kind of gave myself too much room here, didn't I? Ba -ba -ba. A little bit more like that. And maybe even another another one down here. that and then maybe like one more one more light over there oh, these planes are the coolest to see land That uh, electrical line is kind of dangerously close. They're fu so fun to see land because I believe it's about to shoot out a parachute out the back. If I do recall. Yeah, look at that. How awesome is that? There's a lot of buses right here. And why are they regular buses and not, what the heck, select type. And not the buses that I've selected for them to be. Oh my God, and there's 500 people waiting at one of these. these bus stops not good all right I'm gonna get rid of this dangerous electrical line or maybe uh, Move it to there. This guy got himself stuck again. What the heck? It's not going to let me. I feel like I have too many nodes and segments and they're too short. 
this one really should be deleted. Why can't I? There we go. And what's going on here, guy? Still haven't figured it out. Why is this guy saying no road access? Oh, this is a highway? Makes sense. Man, the airplane parking was a great idea. was uh, Burlap Gambles' idea last night. Alright, I feel like well, I guess there's this one little area in in here that I haven't really touched, but I feel like for the most part this is getting decent. I feel like this airport itself is a little bit more of a concern, especially like back in there. This area, these little uh, bunker things placed randomly. I'm gonna get rid of these two ones. These ones bother me. buildings that would be good out here. Like, am I playing with money? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. I'm killing it. I wasn't uh, at the very beginning of starting it, but at a certain point I turned it on. I'm making a lot of money. It's all thanks to my, um, oops. it's all thanks to my oil refinery, really. Look how much money it makes. It's ridiculous. Plus the fact that it is, has a petroleum refinery here, and like, household plastics as well it's pretty crazy how much money it makes it also requires so many warehouses for plastics and petroleum it's like using so many trucks 15 out of 15 like across the board I also just added a bunch of ore industry over here, so that's uh, probably also making some good money. I got a little bit of a traffic issue, because oh, it's a train issue. This keeps happening, where the trains like freak out about which side of the track they're meant to be on. Mm. It's 
this guy's fault. I gotta get rid of him. Claims to be loading cargo, but there we go. people using this uh, train station here but yeah there's a lot of like ore industry stuff around here which what am I what is this what is all this notifi notification not enough buyers of products interesting yeah I did have like a problem with my city that seems to be working itself out but like I accidentally killed everyone <laughs> um, you can see that happen right here in the year 2061 and then when they all came back, they all got on like the same citizen life cycle as each other. And they all became seniors at the same time. And seniors were like 50% of my city for a while. And when that was happening, no one was working and the population kept declining. And I started losing a ton of money and like every single place in the entire city said need workers, which it still is a lot of not enough for workers, to be honest. It's because this city's so industrial, there's like so many places to work. And not that many places to live. Like all I got for real big apartment complexes is like this one here. No, we're auto saving. This one here really crazy looking one and then this building in the background back here is an apartment building and then obviously the miscellaneous ones downtown I take a quick break though guys if you don't mind me a few minutes here. Um, nice wide angle. I will be right back, guys.
Alrighty. Welcome back to me. Welcome back to you. That was a quick break. Just need to get a little bit more coffee and use the bathroom and whatnot. Alrighty. Let's figure out a bit more with this airport, huh? I feel like some of these uh, little roads can be moved. Like, <laughs> lost connection for that building. This road, I'm going to extend out. All the way to like there. And then maybe even back to here. It's a little awkward connecting those, isn't it? It does a weird thing every time. these hangers, I think. And potentially extend out this uh, taxiway. Not that that does anything, but I feel like it looks better. I feel like there could be some uh, parking here or here or here. Just a little bit. I've never uh, seen garbage get picked up at an airport terminal, <laughs> not once. I think it might be a glitch.
Let's see. I feel like I want to cut into this area a little bit more potentially. Like, uh, let's give it a whirl. Because I'm thinking it'd be cool to do uh, have these runways have like markings that extend out much further. some serious uh, terraforming to fix this. Um, last time I was talking about doing some changes to the rock formations. Have I done anything about that or have you saved it for later? I think I did do some changes. I don't know when the last time you saw it was, but pretty happy with the way that this one's turned out. I think when I was talking about that, I had this one in the center of the city. Oh, we're auto-saving. And this one's kind of crappy looking. It doesn't really... It looks just like a big thumb or something. This is a lot more... Uh, like something you would see. So I made this one, and then I've just been copying and pasting parts of it to make like that one back there and this over here. But a lot of these areas along the sides, I haven't really done any rocks, and I probably won't because it will just eat up too much performance. So I guess I'm just going to do a quick smooth on all this and then go in with the lower brush. Just kind of try and connect them a little bit or Actually does feel a lot better rather than having the runway kind of like aim into a hill. So I wonder what the best way to do this is but basically there's this place in uh, the desert in California they got like runways that like are paved and then they there's like all these markings that extend out like way further onto these salt flats so I'm thinking something like that could be cool here why don't I um, pull that up real quick so you can just see what I'm talking about before I get too into it so excuse me for one second while I open this up off screen Edwards Air Force Base. This is uh, in California here. Come on, look at this stuff. This is crazy, right? <laughs> this circle is insane. So something like a small version of that. If possible. So 
Sorry, now I just gotta get it back to how it was before on my windows. There we are. So I attempted to use like a retaining wall here, but these are too skinny, I think. Like, uh, how's this one look? That one has a little ledge, which, no. Plain. This one's just really, this one's like too wide. Yeah, definitely too wide. Hmm. Narrows what I had before. Let's see about some pedestrian paths, maybe. Like I could imagine half ground only. Some of these might be decent. That's the one to use, right? turned on. And then it also did have this funny, uh, a couple funny markings and stuff down the middle. Do I plan any Starland con uh, YouTube content? Um, good question. I... Uh... Definitely had originally planned to do that when I was coming up with the idea for this series like a year and a half ago. And I have a whole entire thing uh, figured out of what I want to do. There's really a lot of work that went into it. But part of that plan was. Um, doing a series in like a pretty much completed city as opposed to uh, starting from an empty city like I was hoping to uh, basically make like a rough city as a backdrop and then kind of go into specific areas and work in specific areas for uh, any YouTube content but now that I haven't made city skyline videos in forever I don't know I look about straight something like that uh, bird mang CS what up how's it going good to see ya That's pretty cool. We got to do one of those like ridiculous circles from Google Maps. Uh, good to see me back on Twitch. Thanks, man. Good to be back. Having some fun with the airport's DLC. Making a pretty strange airport. That's uh, basically only for cargo. 
military base, really. They uh, build airplanes here. We really got an airport uh, traffic jam over here. All these planes backed up. Um, yeah, it was it was kind of an eyesore. This part of the city being empty, and now it's nice that it's starting to feel filled in. I feel like the sand that I just put down could be a little more nicely tapered. Maybe not going up the uh, hill quite so much. What I should do is turn the strength super far down. So you can get slightly nicer edges and stuff. I'm assuming this whole area will actually end up being covered in pavement back in here. And then, man, I gotta do, I wish I had the roundabout maker mod. A lot has changed since I made the <laughs> airport in Kobayashi, yes, definitely. And, uh, oh man, that airport just took so freaking long. I was really, um, I didn't really have a good grasp of when to detail and when to not. I feel like I'm only just learning that with the city. How to build broad strokes, how to build from a distance. There was a lot of meticulously placing things in that airport, and so many things because the airport was so big. The airport killed my FPS because of all those random little props and things I was placing like everywhere. I placed like a hundred thousand props, or maybe not that many, but it felt like it. Um. Should the road go still through this runoff area? I feel like the road's kind of cool like that. Or should I keep the road or hugged around the edge? Not sure. Like I feel like I need another big factory back here. Potentially these are building um, those like really big zeppelins. Where are those? These ones. Yeah, that seems like the right size. Wait, I don't want this to follow terrain. I'm gonna keep it flat. These things need like an ins insane amount of room. Maybe you can do that weird circle thing from Google Maps here. Let's try it out. Um, okay, I need to make a perfect circle. I hate doing this shit. Keep road as is. Okay, I'll do it. It's interesting that way, right? Uh... It doesn't look like a perfect, it doesn't look like the same size. Uh, okay, 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 okay. How the freak do you do this? Let's go eight units. Eight units. Can't see where it says. Eight units. Delete, delete. 
eight units. That's how you do it. All right, and then now I need to do this with the path. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely per Oh, nope, not that one. like in Google Maps. It does have some numbers, but I think I'm, it's just a little too much detail. You don't need the numbers. Maybe have one of these lines extend out for whatever reason. save. Man, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Cuboid, what up, man? How you doing? Uh, how are things going, you ask? Yes, you have a little, uh, little context for that question. Um, I had to redo the entire airport. I had to go back to before a time when the airport area existed but it's always always better the second time the build is always better so I'm not mad it just turned out way better this time before I had all these factories over here which I, uh, I like it better this way it feels more like an extension to the city with the barracks on next to the city and the factory is kind of tucked back I'm working on this runoff weird area now they got these um, weird road marking or I don't know what they are not road markings they're like guidelines for airplanes or something in the uh, at the, what is this called the Edwards Air Force Base in California kind of what I'm going for cross those two cross these two cross these two cross these two because what I want to do is delete like I need a big triangle it's part of it's one of the other things there's also one that has like lines and notches maybe I'll do that really some really funky stuff out here in the desert Revo hello 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 where are the UFOs it's a good question Um, I had a, I had a, I had a question for you. I wanted to know if it was possible to do something, Revo. Give me one moment. Good enough. Um, my question was the Hyperion, uh, railway here. Is it possible to have lights on these pillars? Is that even something that you can do? I'd imagine you could, right? That'd be sick if you had a bunch of, there were a bunch of up facing lights on all these pillars and it like lit up at night.
I believe I'm using the um, the the private the private one, the one that only has two rail lines instead of four. Okay, there's a couple more weird lines that would be fun to do. I kind of don't want too many crisscrossing though. Basically, there's one that looks like a ruler that I think would be fun to use, or fun to fun to make one. Like maybe that, or I think this might be better. So you can sna snap light on them. Yeah, would be would be cool to do. But try and eyeball this equal, I guess. That one looks terrible. so glad I got to add this in. I was looking at that at Google Ma on Google Maps last night and I was like, oh my god, it would be so cool to do this, but I don't have enough space. But man, I love that. Love the circle. I think there should be a road back here in like a big building. sort of uh, like factory where they assemble the parts to make the zeppelins. These are not like the prettiest buildings in the world. It's kind of wacky how they have like so many vanilla uh, containers inside of them. It's like a weird thing. So potentially a second electronics factory. This building is just so enormous. I feel like it works well. I think something like this. Uh, maybe I can cont uh, hide containers with B.O.B. I actually haven't, uh, B.O.B. is like the one new mod that I haven't really gotten or tried yet. Maybe I should try it. Uh, but what up, Jesse James? Good to see ya. How you doing? Yeah, I gotta get B.O.B. I mean, I don't need to hide them. They're, f I guess, fine in there. Uh, 
this should be like a big wide big wide road like that because this is I oh know the other side's the entrance with the truck ports where are the truck ports Could I use my Hyperloop FBX? Um, uh, which one? You the the networks? Lumoise is the one to ask for the networks. Lumoise made the networks. I only made the um. Uh, the the train and the, the props inside the networks another American flag I think to cover up this weird symbol all that needs to be filled in and trees need to be deleted the uh, it's weird how the airport uh, district tool like doesn't delete all the trees at least for me it keeps missing trees Figure out some stuff to put uh to put in here. You'll ask Lumoise? Yeah, you should ask Lumoise. Um I want to make one more classic tube and vehicle. What do you what do you mean classic? Like what are you thinking? futuristic classic views of hyperloops uh, like a little bit snazzier <laughs> like the virgin hyperloop yeah like glass or like really nice chrome or whatever I feel like it's weird that the back of these are open if there's anything I can do about that. These buildings are freaking enormous though. So I don't know what I can really use to plug this hole. Like this building sunk in the ground. Potentially. Let's actually try that. Actually, not bad. I'll even do a third. Like that. Maybe even 
the fourth. Um, I saw you use an uh, asset of tunnel darkener. But I don't find it on Steam Workshop. Can you show me what you use for? Yes. Why don't I use it right here, actually? It's part of the... Um, uh, railway props? Rail Revo made it. Tunnel... Darkener. So, oh no, Ronix made it, but then there's also this Revo one. There's a number of different ones. R69 rail, Railway Darkener. I think they come with like prop packs. Oop, now we're not saving. Like um, the r r Railway 2 prop pack or like... Maybe even the Railway Replacer mod. I'm not sure what they come with. But if you subscribe to enough train stuff, it'll show up in your uh, thing. But yeah, here's how you use them once the autosave is over. With the prop pack, Mr. Revo can answer it himself. All right, auto saves over. So uh, yeah, it's minorly dark. Convert to PO. And then I'm gonna scale it way up. And then to make a ton of them. And I'm doing that by holding uh, what control and shift at the same time. Uh, except for these aren't uh, these actually aren't big enough. Bigger, wider. Let's try that. So control and then shift. Copy and move to and then put them in here. line should be centered right there so let me real quick add a node I'm gonna have to do that in both places add a node delete the little short segments and oh, everything froze for a sec there some weird stuff. What? <laughs> what? Um, that's so strange. I feel like uh, this long skinny taxiway should have some crossings. I 
like that's normal. Yeah, keep keep it English, Jesse James. I I think that's standard standard Twitch practice, is it not? It should be hangers, I feel like, since it is, uh, since it does have access to the taxiways, like some more of these ones. What are these small hangers? direction it's with all this crap sticking out the back all these little like luggage vehicles way over into here. Now this might actually make things worse because then planes will wait here instead of going around. I should uh, flip the direction of these. They still have to go all the way to the end. Let's see. I'm sure we got some other hangers. Yeah, like this guy. Probably too big. Right there. Thought I had a bunch of really small hangers. Yeah, like these ones. Compare those. Someone's got to go over there. But I feel like there's other places I could squeeze a couple of these. There, no. Along here for sure. This is like the main place they could be. They're so white. Oh, and these spawn planes? How is that possible? Usually working. What up? 
been subscribed for a year. That is crazy, man. How's it going? Thanks for uh, all the support, buddy. Good to see ya. Happy Sunday. Working on the Starland Airport. It's a weird one. I feel like my uh, FPS is bad right now because I forgot to turn off ultimate level of detail. Let's try that right now. It's going to freeze up the game. Yeah, just pinwheeled. But yeah, it feels like I just got double the FPS when I did that. Much better. A lot of cars taking this uh, this route here. Oh, they're all going to the aviation club. Everyone's going to the aviation club. Are there any other cool buildings that could be like part of the aviation club? Like I know there actually is an aviation decorative that's just the building I should use this in in like the city more actually this is a good building have it be two I don't know there's also I was just seeing hanger I feel like these potentially I don't know. It is a military base. But could a plane even fit in there? Yeah, these are all small. This one's even smaller, but no way could anything fit in there. Parking over here, potentially. I think this kind of parking. The one with the decals instead of the one with the road. Just so that it's the same concrete color as the rest of the airport. And this should get filled in at some point, like to here, maybe. So let's do a bunch of parking spots over here. If you're uh, only just joining, this is like an Air Force base where they're mostly building airplanes, the thought. Very busy, there's quite a lot of cars, but it's like mostly meant to be um, if planes are arriving, they're, they're for cargo. And, um, you know, your average person can't fly out of, or, you know, fly out of this airport. That's why I've done the at bare minimum airport terminal over here from the DLC. 
and even that seems like a little much, but it passes like an office building or something. Maybe too much parking, to be honest. saving. Yeah, really getting some uh, plane traffic here. I think there's like six planes <laughs> clipped together right there. Not good. Not good. I wonder if I just made a bad airport and that's why there's plane traffic or what the deal is. I kind of wish I could like because I tried it initially with only having one plane stand and so many planes were just coming to the one plane stand that it was creating plane traffic so I thought why don't I do a bunch of plane stands and then it'll split up the planes to all the different plane stands but it seems like they still just favor the one they just pick one and They all go to it. It's like Industries DLC with plane spam. Yeah. That's a little much. And I remember seeing in like the patch notes f for like the free updates as well that they were going to be improving. Um, they were going to be like incorporating the optimized outside uh, connections mod into uh, the game now so that you wouldn't see uh, vehicles entering the map with a 0% load, but that seems to be a lie. I should probably go and get that mod again because I specifically went and disabled it because I was like, oh hell yeah, it's now part of the base game. I'm gonna do a little connection here to this road. This song, sorry, one second, needs to get removed from this playlist. Can't have uh, vocals. Gotta ask Cuboid to check if oh, I forgot Cuboid made that mod. Wonder if he's still here. I hope Cuboid got a, a fat, uh, fat paycheck for for providing them that mod to use in the base game. I'm just kidding. Um, gonna try and slightly curve these. Feels a little better. thing I was noticing one of the Air Force bases I was looking at Google Maps is like 
I like to do this where the hangers are like aimed at each other. Super bright, super white. No one watched the uh, Ronix how not to make your assets too bright video. Nobody tested their assets with different LUTs on, but it's okay. Thank God for the painter mod. Or what's it called? The uh, repaint? Mm. It is a little strange how there's no way like what if you have a plane right here how are you supposed to get anywhere on the runway wow this plane's really just smashed into each other should I uh, maybe remove some of these out here leave them for now Famous KLM incident, yes. Well, because I uh, I place these runways down with anarchy. I don't think you're allowed to normally place them crisscrossing. It's also so weird with this airports DLC. Is this the case for anyone else? Like, I I can delete a runway, I mean a taxiway, but it will not let me even with the vanilla delete thing. It won't let me delete a runway. Like, how, what are you supposed to do if you place it wrong? You have no mods. Seems really weird. Um, what else can we do? I think potentially a bunch more of these kind of little lines going throughout just the airport itself. Like one going right through the middle there. Maybe like that. Just putting random lines around, but uh, kind of seems like how it is at this uh, Edwards Air Force Base. I'm looking at Google Maps here on the side. Just a bunch of like service access little pathways. Ooh, 
doesn't really work though. Gotta make a mod to flip directions of the runway. Yeah, I, I'd imagine it's a little bit more than just flipping the networks because I am noticing that the ends of the runways have like buildings here. I don't really know what these are and I don't really want to mess with them because last time I messed with an airport building, it like broke the entire game and the entire save. But see, there's one on each end. I'm imagining they like denote the way that the airplane's supposed to go, the direction of the runway. Add some more lines. Maybe get filled in with concrete. Just that little strip. Hmm. More warehouses, maybe? Like, yeah, warehouse right there. The other mod I really need in this save is the uh, zoning adjuster mod. Man, that mod is cool. I didn't really see the potential until I started using it. my favorite thing about the airport so far. The circle and the lines. This big hangar is like too big for this space. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, maybe I can convert to PO. Yeah, and I'll get rid of all those props. There we go. Much nicer. These guys are mad, they have no road access or electricity. And they're way too bright. Same with these two. And this, uh, 
Zeppelin. Oh, you can't change the color of the Zeppelin. Can I convert to PO? Change the color of the Zeppelin? No. Can I? customization and then add color rectangle max max make it black and then turn down the opacity oh yeah and now we're auto saving Airport's coming together. going to take a quick break if you couldn't already tell from me zooming into the be right back sign why is it so hard to get it framed up where it's like bright behind the letters there we go all right i'll be right back
Alrighty. Man, what a nice day it is outside here. It's absolutely perfect. Got my nice big window open right next to me. It's very nice out. Alrighty. What else do we gotta do on this airport? It's actually getting pretty close, I, I have to say. Like, there's not really many more areas to fill in. There's this little pocket in here, right in there, that I don't know what I'm doing with. I think this area could get just like a tad more attention. Some fences. I think specifically fences. There's not enough fences. Maybe a couple more parking lots. Maybe something back behind these buildings. Maybe something right in here. Kind of this area. A little concrete right there. Why don't I do that first? Concrete there. Maybe let's do a little fence around this area. I think I just need to go through and like add like minor details here and there. A couple fences. A prop. Some bird outside just made a crazy swooping noise. Something like that. I don't know. It was a bizarre noise. in. Get a lot of this in. Too many people are using this road. I gotta mess with the speed limit. Why are so many people using these roads? Speed limit. 15. 15, 15, 15. Maybe even slower than 15. Cannot be having people like just regular old trucks trying to use this to get places faster. And I believe I went through and made all this out here way faster. 50, yeah. This road, I'm even gonna have be uh, five. Really trying to get people. Oh yeah, look, cars just like split and go in other directions. Maybe they're about to do that anyways, but yeah, I'm trying. I really don't want people to be using these roads if possible. Maybe they're doing it because they got a U-turn. So... Let's see about giving them like a... Slightly better place to do that. I'm thinking... Break up this fence. Do another little road in there. 
We're gonna do surface road. And they need specifically a place to turn around, so. materials for this building. It's fun when plane flies right in front of camera like that. barriers here and there maybe do the do one along the side of this road and I'm also gonna grab light really a lot of traffic over here the planes with the cars with the freaking cars on the taxiways in with concrete, I think. Hey, thanks for the uh, the bits, man. Appreciate it. Glad you were uh, able to join us. Take care, buddy. Unless there's like a building here or something for it to go around, maybe this could be... Uh, Potentially curved in. Up, oh, and now we're auto saving. Love a good auto save. The one thing that you can sort of do during auto save is move the camera around, so. That's what I've gotten used to doing. Just looking at things, waiting for the packaging to come up like it just did. Now we're done. Is that better? I feel like potentially not. I think I want to do um, this road as a highway out here, like that. Jesse James, wow. 
uh, thousand of the little crate guys. Um, what do you want named? Let me know. I can name like a building, like change the name of this factory. That's probably the best thing. If you got a real good name for a district, I might consider it or like in it part of the city. You know what could go in this corner is this building. This would fit perfectly. attached to a road. Um, I can make this back into a different type of road. So that these guys can get it. But then this one over here. Uh, why don't I do an airport road? Why does nothing out here have electricity? I imagine this has no electricity either. It's probably been wasting me a ton of money. Okay, Jesse James, you say you want to name uh, JW Westside, a neighborhood or a little tiny house like the one, but I don't want to pay uh, a bunch of money for it. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure I have a district called, oh yeah, West Cliff. What about JW West, West, something like that? There's also a million houses in here. But I don't know if any of them are like the one. They are all right next to this military base. Those planes are taking off really right next to each other. Um, any thoughts on any of that? This building still has no road access. A little shop in Westcliff could be good. Uh, what about this one here? Any of these ones? These ones are good. There's this. There's this one that's like right under the train track. This auditorium. It's also this place. 
This shouldn't really be a pillar in the middle of the road. Two pillars in the middle of the road. I'm just gonna delete them. This can be called the JW West Side Auditorium. Or would you really rather have a little shop? I'll, I'll, I'll leave that like that and then we'll also do... Let's see. Do that as well. Name two things, really. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? They're all delivering goods there? What? Owner, what? Why is it doing that? such an odd thing. All these people are going to the same warehouse. But why would they need a loop through there to get here? This guy's going to the aviation club. That makes a little more sense. All these people are looping through here. Uh, let's maybe just say no left turn. <laughs> Couple cactuses here and there. I need to clean up this a uh, little bit of a hill right there, maybe. This area could have a lot more cactuses back into it. Oh, well, maybe not too many. Just a couple, couple little brushes and things. Uh, what do we want to do with this area? Fence. fence I'm thinking basically like storage for this kind of stuff, like a big dirt area with some can containers, maybe extra containers. Some 
uh, gravel or whatever. make particular maps too. If I need a harder one one day, I'll be honored to give you one of mine. What kind of maps are you talking about? Not city skylines maps. Vehicles in here, too, maybe. Trash. Uh, I wonder. Like, isn't there a road uh, maintenance department or something? Go in here. Like canyon maps, but procedural with the use of 124 meters of CS map editor. Have you have you been making them by hand? Like when I made this one, I did it um, by making a uh, like a Photoshop image. I guess the 1024 pixel thing and like taking um, what is it the terrain.io website or something like the terrain party that's what it's called terrain party terrain dot party website I'm taking the height maps and importing them um, road maintenance Uh, maybe not right here, but this building could go somewhere for sure. Up and now we're auto saving. Yeah, the tough part with canyon maps is um, this cliff texture is never, you can never get it looking very good when it's this steep. It always looks better when you do the gray flame rocks, but then that takes so much time and it makes the, you, you know, add so much. So many POs to the to the save. Packaging almost done. Where can I put this building? Tigris. Thanks for the the resubscribe, man. Very nice of you. Um, we need water out here and we need these connected to a road. Man, this uh, this airport does not have the road access that a normal airport should. I feel like there's just always going to be so much traffic at the entrances and exits. 
Oh, here it kind of cleaned up. But this side, it's not looking good. It's not meant to be a real functioning airport. It's meant to be, they just build airplanes here and the airplanes fly away, but. You place one airplane stand down and all of a sudden a thousand airplanes come. You think placing more down and, you know, at least they won't all line up for the same airplane stand, but yet they all line up for the same airplane stand. Airport level two. I've had a thousand passengers. Wow. Damn, it needs to be a lot more attractive in order to get to level three. Not that I'm going for that. Still have trash piling up at the uh, airport terminal. This building is bugged. I don't know what, what else to say about it, but broke my save. Never picks up trash. It's the key of my maps. They are made by procedural process and the theme creation is really advanced 8K texture conversion. It permits having good detail in the cliffs even if they are stretched. Wow, I'd love to see them. You um, should send them on. You should sh share some pictures on Discord. If you're on, you want my Discord? I don't remember. I haven't, I haven't really been looking at Discord too much, but you should uh, post some, some pictures of it. I would love to see. What else are we even going to do in this airport? There's this little area to mess with. Like, could a uh, radio thing happen over here? Not this one. Or could this one happen here? Does that work? I mean, it's not like in the flight path or anything. It's kind of in like a canyon, so I don't really know how well it would, would work. I feel like you would want it up on top, but. I also feel like it's weird that it stretches across uh, the road, but it is a uh, Air Force base, so hopefully no one in here is messing with stuff. oil storage building. this in just a bit. I love these animated uh, cranes. Pretty cool. I 
I was saying I wanted to do more fences in this area, so why don't I do that? Do just like a bunch of fences around. I feel like I don't have enough. some of the forest tree fences. I love these ones. place a couple more of these down maybe nodes props that's all I need like potentially here hmm, maybe not there maybe here up like so many spaces already maybe no more of these yeah I don't know what else to do to the airport I feel like we're getting pretty close to being done here like a gas station here. It's interesting. Do like a fence around the pair of these. two buildings need road access and yeah, now it's just about like flying around trying to spot the things that are missing it's like whoa just go like that probably turn off these being I know they are off being traffic lights. Oh yeah, we got a couple tanks here for no reason. These can be somewhere else or gone. Maybe just gone.
couple barriers, maybe like here. Keep people on the road. Over here. I feel like there should be some clutter around there, but maybe not. Man, it's looking pretty good. Not even sure what else to do. This is my favorite part, by far. What am I doing back in this little corner? Why don't I do a parking lot back here? this out here. There's a plane landing. Pretty good. Happy with how this is turning out. This was a wonderful idea. This uh, place where all the little planes are parked. Up, oh, it looks like we're auto saving. Everything froze. saving. Some major traffic. Can I even do about that? I think I can only fix it with uh, the outside connections mod. I just need to go get that again, potentially. Before I forget, what did I need? The uh, I'm sorry, I'm pulling up the Steam Workshop off stream real quick. I needed the outside connection, and then I also needed BOB mod and the zoning adjuster need to make sure to get all of those
Remember to save. Let's do it. Teddy Radko. Always a great idea. Feels like a military base. Maybe, maybe not the train. Maybe the train. But uh, yeah, I think that's about all I can build today. I would say the airport is complete. Little things here and there maybe, but boy do I love this. Coming out on the sand, these lines, really bizarre. Airport's a DLC, would you look at it? There's only a million planes clipped together, waiting. I'll use the same parking spot. Alrighty guys, this was a fun one. Thanks guys, long and hard, Jesse James. Appreciate it. Good to see both of you. Long and hard. Thanks for the uh, subscription, by the way. Saw you do that the other day, yesterday. I think it was while well, I wasn't streaming, but very nice of you. Man, the city's looking uh, the city's looking a lot better with that filled in. Man, feel a lot more complete. All right, fun stuff. We all got Super Bowl to watch. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm going to watch it. Thank you all for watching. Oh, you caught a YouTube video. Uh, yes, I do. I do make some YouTube videos sometimes. Blenta, thanks for uh, joining us. Appreciate it. All right, guys. I will see you all later. Have a good Sunday. Have a nice rest of your weekend. See you in the next one. Thank you.